Cocoa, Florida and the Cocoa Curve. This piece of property on the southwest side of the State Road 528 and US-1 interchange has been a major location as part of Brightline's Orlando expansion. Between the box jack tunnel, ballast operation, and being the eastern end of the Orlando line, this property has played a key role for making the Orlando extension possible. This significance will only increase moving forward as it was announced on March 12, 2024, that Brightline would be locating its Brevard County station here. Brightline owns approximately 45 acres here at the curve. Seen highlighted in yellow, this stretches from just west of the power lines, east to the Florida East Coast Railway tracks, then south behind the Walmart. The remainder of the property behind Walmart, down to Michigan Avenue, highlighted in red, is owned by the City of Coco. So why the Coco Curve? The Coco Curve is at a major transportation crossroads. State Road 528 is the primary route to Port Canaveral and the cruise industry there, which ground transportation can easily connect to. With Interstate 95 only being a few miles west, this makes it easy for potential passengers from the north and the rest of Brevard County to get to a station without having to travel to Orlando just to end up backtracking to come back east. Operationally, Brightline trains already have to slow down to shift from the Florida East Coast Railway to the Orlando line and make the curve, so the time added for a station stop would be less compared to other locations. No formal specific details have been released on the site layout, but there is some standard information from the requirements for their other stations that can be used here. One of the requirements for the other stations is that at least a thousand feet of straight track is required to place a platform. Based on this, the station itself will likely be directly behind or slightly south of the Walmart. In terms of the station building, there's plenty of room for any of Brightline's inline station designs like West Palm Beach and Boca Raton. Here is a closer look at this tangent section of track where a platform could be located. Access to the site will come from a new road originating here at the corner of State Road 524 and Clear Lake Road. The Florida Department of Transportation has been working on a plan to redesign this curve and connecting roads for several years. Those plans have had options for a new road anticipating the possibility of a station being here based on several previous station location studies. The little road that currently exists is the remains of a former crossing that had been removed decades ago. With the city of Cocoa involved in the development of the station, their land could also play a role in building a new connecting road down to Michigan Avenue as well. Parking could be surface lots, a garage, or a combination of both. The rest of the property would be available for other development. As previous station location studies have pointed out, the strength of this location is the easy connections to the surrounding areas. Because of this, there will likely be a large area for ground transportation connections to get passengers to their final destinations whether that is the port, beach, Kennedy Space Center, or other area attractions. For the time being, only a short stretch of the future second mainline track to Orlando has been built, 
but is not being used. The station will likely cost more of this track to be built, even if the station only starts with a single platform. For the time being, part of the site is being used by Brightline to store leftover track materials from the Orlando expansion. These materials will either be used as part of the station work or relocated elsewhere. With the location now selected, the Space Coast Transportation Planning Organization Brevard County, City of Coco, and other community leaders, in addition to Brightline, will shift their focus to begin to identify potential federal, state, and local resources to make this station a reality. I will have more videos on this station to come as additional information is released. To wrap up this video, here's a northbound train passing through the site on its way to Orlando. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.